Don't let anyone tell you you can't. Don't let anyone tell you that it's not good. It is good. It's the best thing you could ever do is get an ability to do what you love every day of your life because then you never work again. And that I think is what's so important. Hey guys, Rob from A Life That Travels. Um, and talk about the amazing people that you get to meet when you're just uh, traveling the world. This is Matt Chaveau, who's like film cinematographer extraordinaire. And mate, awesome to meet you, for Thank starters. You. nice meeting you. Yeah, and like we're just here in like Corona Del Mar, Southern California, sun's going down and you're shooting beautiful sunset. Yeah, and I happen to be out here on a passion project and um, you were telling me a little bit about what it is that you do. Yeah. You're asking what, what it is that you could do to pursue that would give you the ability to travel. That's right, man. And yeah. I think the, the, the funny thing is, is is none of what I've done in my career was was planned. All I did was f follow what I love, do passion. And and through that passion, it was never about, oh, I'm going to make money or I'm going to do all these things. But opportunities opened up, I think, because of my energy and because of the excitement and maybe maybe ignorance, ignorant bliss, <laughs> right? Like just naive, like just I jumped into it. And um, I guess the point is, is that, is that don't let anyone tell you you can't. Don't let anyone tell you that it's not good. It is good. It's the best thing you could ever do is get an ability to do what you love every day of your life because then you never work again. And that I think is what's so important. And yeah, so this, this job I have, I have a production company and I get to travel and I've seen a lot of places. And we were talking just a second ago about how that kind of, kind of puts things into perspective for you. So I think it's really important that you just follow that, that whatever it is in your head and whatever it is in your mind that you want to do. And, and don't talk to too many people about it because the majority of people are going to try to talk you out of things. Isn't that true? It's, Isn't that true? It's like, absurd. And the, the moment you step out and do your own thing, like all these people that you thought were like really good friends are yep. suddenly like, yep. oh, they're never going to succeed. No, they're never going to succeed. And if you look back at the most of the people that are being negative and telling you it won't work, yeah. they're the ones that are kind of doing what you never want to do. Right? They've got a job they don't like. They, yeah. they, you know, whatever the situation is. And so I've learned it doesn't matter what people say. Uh, they tell me, no, this isn't going to work, or no, don't spend your money on that, or no, don't do it. I go for it. And if they're right, I'll learn myself. That's fine, right? But it's worked so far. So that's that's my thoughts. And, and one of those that you just said was like, you know, when you go out and you get that experience traveling the world, whether it's like on a backpacking trip or like mm -hmm. you, I mean, you're now working like high-end projects, that sort of mm -hmm. stuff. Um, I mean, there's a fair bit of pressure that, that comes with it, but how important is it like getting out of your comfort zone, going traveling, in terms of like getting that experience? Absolutely. And, yeah. You've got to get out of your comfort zone. You've got to go into places that, that again, it's about experiencing new things. Every, everything, in fact, I don't know if you got the message yet. I sent you a restaurant in, 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 in no to, way. To, to go see. <laughs> he, he told me he was going to San Francisco. I just threw a couple recommendations of probably Thanks, one of the awesome. best restaurants you can go to in San Francisco. Nothing fancy, nothing crazy, but it is just amazing and it's good. And I think that's, for me, food is, is, a, is a huge passion of mine. Um, so when I travel, I, I, I make it about the food, I make it about that experience, but it's it's those little experiences, whether it's it's sitting here meeting you yeah. and, and, and watching the sunset or, or trying a new meal in a new place. It, 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 all those things accumulate in your life and I think it just makes you a, a little bit of a heightened awareness of, of what matters in life. And so where's next on the um, on the, the list for you? Yeah, so right now, um, really, we've got a project that might happen in Croatia. So that might that might be the next spot. That'd be um, sweet. Uh, connection with their tourism board. They saw something I did here for, for uh, LA, and uh, I got connected through a friend of mine, and, and we're trying to make that happen. Yeah, awesome, man. And what about on a personal level? Where do you want to go next? Personal level, I just finished a passion project on the big island of Hawaii chasing lava. So that was an incredible experience. Talk about getting out of your comfort zone. <laughs> I, I am not the risk taker out of my friends, right? And this guy's telling me like, you've got to run across this and, and don't stop because I can't pick you up if you fall kind of thing, right? So anyway, lava, it was amazing. Isn't that hitting into like, fuck that territory? Yeah, no, <laughs> I asked the guy, I'm like, how close can I get? And he said, he said, when you start smelling your arm hairs burning off, back up, right? 
but anyway, uh, Passion Project, again, it was amazing. It was a great experience. But again, talking about Passion Project, I went out there and I did that, and the, the, the video went semi-viral on YouTube, and it, it blew up, and then BMW called me and saw it and said, hey, can we license some of the footage? Sweet. And now that I've got BMW talking to me, I kind of convinced them to uh, allow me to do some other things, and now I might get hired on to do a job for BMW. Just from a video I put online that was a passion project. So again, that's why you just get out and you go and you do it. You don't worry about anything or anyone. And so one of the things I saw, like in that clip, you were using like a 360 camera, yes. like funky gear. Mm -hmm. And because what I was thinking about was, you know, it can be intimidating for people, you know, like, oh, just like, I just walked up to you and I'm like, hey, yeah. dude, love your yeah, stuff, yeah, yeah. love your work, whatever. But some people have, you know, would struggle to do that. So how important do you think it is just to do like little things to push your comfort zone a little Absolutely bit, right? Absolutely so important. Like new gear, like, uh, like yeah, everything, right? You, you, you buy gear that, that that camera is a good example. No yeah. one, no one's really shooting that format right now. No one's asking for it, right? No way. But I figured if I get to learn it and I get good at it, then I have a thing where I say, speed of leader, speed of the group. If you're the first, you're in. Yeah. Right. And so, pretty soon, um, a good example for me would be aerials. We did we did aerials before aerials were aerials. Yeah. Right. Right. We were taping cameras on the bottom of drones. And, <laughs> right. And then it it came to now everyone does aerials. Yeah. But we got in early and we have clients you know, very high-end car manufacturers. We have clients that we've accumulated that aren't going to go anywhere else. So it doesn't matter that everyone else got in the game. We were, right. we were in it early and we got our position in it. So again, it's going out, it's making yourself uncomfortable. It's, for me, it's investing in things. You have to, you can't be afraid to invest in things, whether it's something small or something big. Yeah. If these tools are going to make your life easier or help you grow or help you do things, you just, you got to do it. Is there something that you've come across recently like whether it's a book or a tool or, or something cheap or a piece of gear that that's, hasn't cost a lot of money that's mm -hmm. like changed everything for you, mm -hmm. like not not a top end 5K. Yeah, no. <laughs> um, I mean, <laughs> like something little that that somebody could go out and buy for 200 bucks. Yeah, you know, yes. Um, for for me, it, it, believe it or not, I think that I think the GoPros are unbelievable. Yeah. I think the GoPro is a very powerful tool, um, and it doesn't need to be their $600 one. They've got a uh, the little cube one that I think yeah. is 199, right? Yeah. The freedom that gives you, right? Yeah. And and the ability to do things I can't do with my big camera. We, we were in Hawaii doing a project, and, and there were these massive turtles swam up. And I didn't have underwater housing for my gear. We grabbed that little GoPro, dove in, did everything with it, and it was good enough quality to make the production. So Sweet. the point is, is, is really, all gear, anything you're gonna do that's gonna help you get out and explore, get out and do things is gonna be important. Love it, man. Hey, awesome to chat. Where do, where do people find you if they wanna um, look you up? You know what, my Instagram's the best way to stay in touch with me. Uh, it is M-G-I-V-O-T. Awesome. Thank you. Hey, Pleasure great, meeting you, man. Great to, great Thank to you. chat. That was awesome. Thanks for everything. Thanks a lot, guys. See you next time Take on care. Life That Travels. Take care. <laughs> Bye -bye.